Well, hello there. The Grand Orleans Imperial Island Hotel welcomes you and your lovely group of benefactresses. Uh, I would just like to say that we applaud your innumerable uh, philanthropic acts and... Um, and... Um, I'm sorry, madam, but the hotel has a very strict no-pet policy. You seem like the sort of man who loves a precious. Don't you, Mr... Stringer. R.J. Stringer the third, hotel manager. Thank you for making an exception, Mr. Zarjay. Stringer, yes, but I haven't hotel yet, manager. but I didn't agree so, to... So, tell me something, Mr. Stringy? Stringer. Hotel man. Manager. The third. Yes. I know you love kitties. <laughs> kitties. But what do you think of mice? Mice? Yeah, mice. What would you do if there were mice running all around in this hotel? Well, I can assure you, madam, there would never be any mice. But if there were, hypothetically. Mm. Oh, hypothetically, yes, I suppose. Well, I would, uh, I would call the exterminator. Exactly! You see, girls? He would call the exterminator! Just like any normal human with his head screwed on right, he would exterminate those brats. Uh, rats. We would exterminate the rats. Evil. And they have an evil potion. They put it in your chocolate. My chocolate? Crikey! They always spike the chocolate. It's standard evil witch procedure. Wait, you were a kid too? A girl. Do I look like a baby goat to you? <laughs> nope, a mouse. What are we going to do? I don't want to be a mouse. I like being a portly little kid. Child. Whatever. All right, we had to find my grandma. She knows everything about wishes. She'll know what to do. Come on! Oh, crab salad! What are you doing? Get to the wow, table. look at all that lovely food. Okay, here's what we do. You see that vent? I bet that'll get us to the lobby. Let's go! to do is make our way to the elevator, then up to the fourth floor. Come on! <laughs> hey, a little help! <gasps> uh, Crikey! Hurry up! This way! How exactly do we reach the button for the fourth floor? Floor? Four, please. Come on! There's my room. Seven, six, six. This way. She's never going to hear us. Come on! Try! 
Mickey. All right, we make a human ladder. You mean a mouse ladder? Right, a mouse ladder. <laughs> Witch. Oh, Lord, not the Grand Hot Witch. Yes, she mousified me. And the whole hotel is full of witches. They're having a witch convention or something. You've been through so much, you don't need this. Grandma's so, so sorry. Grandma, please get off the floor and put me on the coffee table. How do I do that? Pick me up. Pick you up? Yeah, just like I pick up Daisy. believe this happened to you. Believe me, things could be a lot worse. They could. Oh, Grandma, by the way, this is my friend Bruno Jenkins. He's not a mouse, too, but he used to be a chubby little English kid. You could have just stopped that. This is my friend Bruno. I'm so sorry, Bruno. Those nasty evil witches got you, too, huh? Yes, they got me good and proper. It's been an awful day. Anybody else hungry? Ahem. Oh, and Daisy used to be a kid. A girl, too. Why didn't you say something before, darling? Because it can be very dangerous for a mouse to talk. Most people don't understand, and they get scared. I almost said something the other night when you told the story about Alice Blue getting turned into a chicken, and I thought better of it. So some wicked, evil witch mousified you? Yes, ma'am, four months ago. On the very same afternoon, I ran away from the orphanage. Well, what happened was a kind lady, well, I thought she was kind, Anyway, she offered me a chocolate bar, and before I knew it, poof, I was transformed. Then, faster than a hot knife cuts through butter, a panhandler scoops me up and sells me to a pet store so he could buy food. Yum. I'm so sorry, Daisy. Mary. Uh, my real name is Mary. Mary, that's a pretty name. Excuse me, all this talk about food is making me really hungry. Can I have one of those grapes? So it was a grand high witch, and she's in this very hotel. We got to do something to turn you back, make this right. The grand high witch has a room full of potion, and she's gonna use it to turn every kid in the world into a mouse. We have to help 